All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Montiovers. Good to see you guys again. I'm happy to be back, excited to be back, and I'm probably motivated right now than ever to make some content because there are certain things that have happened over the last week that people have certain opinions on, and I'm done. It's like, you know what? I've heard their piece. I've heard their side. Now it's time for me to give my opinion. And this is one of the topics right here. The new Universal Championship. The new Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Now, I'm going to be frank here. I was pissed. You know what I mean? And not because, oh, I don't like the design. Or, oh, you know, I don't like the the color. Or, you know, any of that. I'm pissed because it looks a lot better. With Roman holding two belts, that was his host table piece. He was coming down the ramp for a year with two belts. Two belts that basically define him. And what does Triple H do? He introduces his new fucking belt, which, by the way, doesn't look as good as the other two. I don't hate it, but it's it's like it doesn't compare to the blue one or the black one to me. I just... I don't see it. How this belt is going to take the place of two belts. Number one, people have said it already. Two belts is more dominant than one belt. Alright, that's my issue with it. Those two belts are his legacy. You know what I mean? And to just replace it out of the blue with a title that nobody asked for, including him, I don't even think he likes the damn belt, to be honest with you. He could or not, I don't know. But one thing I do know is he didn't seem all that thrilled to be handed a new belt. I was, and I watched it back at least three times. I was watching his facial expressions, you know, his mannerisms and all that. It just he just didn't seem like he was all that into it. He, but he's an actor. He puts on a show. That's his job. So no, my problem is, oh, it should have been the winged eagle belt, or this belt's ugly, or da 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 da, or whatever. No. It's the fact that one belt isn't doesn't look as good on him as two belts. I mean, seriously. What was the point of unifying or him winning the the freaking belt at WrestleMania 38? It was for him to walk around with both and look a badass. You know what I mean? Just because Rollins got his new fucking shitty belt doesn't mean that he should have gotten another belt. I'm really furious about this. This is what they do. It's like, and they don't even care anymore. They just present a belt to somebody when they feel like it. Honestly, I think Triple H's biggest problem now is number one, his his booking is too freaking predictable, and I think he knows this. And sometimes he does book things that are unpredictable, but for the most part, it's like I can guess what he's already gonna do. You give me a show, you give me all the matches on there, and I will guess about ninety percent of the matches. Their outcome, and I'll be right. Period. And I've done it before. Backlash. That's a perfect example right there. Elimination Chamber was another one. The Royal Rumble. WrestleMania, pretty friggin' much. I had it all right there. There hasn't been a live event, a premium live event this year that I haven't, you know, completely just crushed it on. And here's the thing. His, and he's revealing his, his second problem, and that's the design of the belts. I don't care what your opinion is. I don't care how much you like Seth Rollins. I don't care how much you like Raw. I don't care if you subscribe to Ryan, Rollins' ideology of, oh, the champion should be there every week and should be defending the title every week. I don't, I don't give a damn if you agree with all that. You cannot sit there and tell me that that new World Heavyweight Championship looks so freaking great. It doesn't. It, it, it gets completely trumped. By the original. And I'm sorry to break this to you people. But the reason. Why they're never going to bring the winged eagle back. Or at least they haven't. Let me take that back. Why they haven't. Brought the winged eagle back. Is because the last time that thing was seen. Was in the 90's. At least the world heavyweight championship. Was seen through the 2000's. The last time we saw it was 2014. The winged eagle belt hasn't been around since the 90s. Now, how would it look on a company to go back to a design that they had 30 years ago? It 
So it's like, I don't know, everybody's just frustrating the hell out of me with their opinions. With that, seriously, like, I just, I can't. And I'm all up for it. I'm up for a discussion. I'm up for a debate. I know. And I and like I said, I love the winged eagle belt. I don't hate the new belts. But it's like everybody's making so big so much of a big deal about it. It's ridiculous. Like people won't stop whining. Okay, this is why I try to avoid Reddit as much as I can, because damn. You know what I mean? Is a new and, and this is the final verdict. Are the new belts great? They're not great, but they're not terrible. And it, and it's hilarious to me that people are like, "Oh, I created this belt, and you know, WWE 2K19 or whatever, and now it's on their their official belt." Ha ha ha! I'm like, what? Wouldn't you be flattered? Wouldn't you be happy that your title design is actually being represented on the actual company? That would blow me away. The fact that I created something and now they created something similar to what I created in a video game. You think they don't pay attention to the community creations? Really? No, instead they bitch want to complain. Oh, this is something I created in a video game. Wow. It looks like shit. I'm like, you, you do realize you're insulting yourself, right? Give me a break. So this video was kind of all over the place, but... That's the reality. Like, we're really crying about belts. Can we just embrace the future? I already told you my problem with the with the Universal Championship. I'm happy with it? Not really, but at least I'm not online crying about the design every five minutes. It's it's really getting tired. It's like every single new thing they come up with, everybody complains about. And yet, it's one of the best sellers on freaking WWE Shot. So I'm like, if it's, if these people aren't buying it, then who 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 are who who who's buying these? And I bet it's the damn people that hate the freaking belt. And this, and this is how society rules. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. And you buy it anyway. I can't stand the Kardashians that you watch the show. I hate Apple yet you buy all their products. So just just do me a favor. Do everybody a favor. Those of you that have stepped out on the internet and said, "Oh, I hate this. I hate that. Complain about everything." Just shut your mouth. Just unless you have a something positive or something that's worth bringing up, that's worth a complaint. Just shut your mouth. I'm I'm so tired of it. This is the, oh my god, man. That that's my opinion on this. You don't like it? I don't know what to tell you, but but you know that me and my 116 subscribers, we keep it real around here. I never go back on what I say, and what I say has substance. I say what I mean, and so does everybody else in the comment sections. And everybody who likes the videos, everybody who comments, everybody who subscribes. We're about keeping it real here, and at least having a discussion about what's at hand, and having a valid discussion, valid complaints. Not complaining about every little thing on the internet. So, post comments, guys. You guys know what to do. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Next one's going to be a lot better vibe of a video. I promise you that. All right, guys. I'll see you. Deuces.